I'm Frankie Chen, and I'll be going behind the scenes to meet the contestants as they prepare for their big moment. We'll also be finding out just what it takes to stage the biggest event in beauty. I'm here with the ladies moments before Dances of the World, moments before entering the stage. Miss Wales, how do you feel? I'm super excited. I'm a huge fan of Sky Blue, but I'm obviously a little bit nervous as it's the opening, but uh, here we go. And Miss Canada, we have the Vamps as well. What do you think of them? Yes, they are so fun to sing along to, and I can't wait to dance along to them. Okay, well, it's 10 minutes to the show. We have just enough time for the final sports VT. Sports and fitness is a key asset to any Miss World. You need the strength and the stamina. Travel to 50 countries in 50 weeks and always be at your best. I'm here with the blue team. They have their blue lipsticks on. This is the true blue team. And they're going to show us a little dance. Go to go, go to go, go. Go to go, go to go, go. Red and yellow are neck and neck. Only two girls left for the race. Yellow team, you're taking it. And Miss Finland, you finally came first. We are heading to the start of the show and I'm here with the opening act, Sky Blue. Sky, how are you feeling? Man, I'm buzzing right now. I feel unbelievable. Opening up Miss World with a song that has never been performed before called We Love Girls. Can it be any more perfect? And what's the atmosphere like backstage and with the girls? It's, a, it's electric, let me tell you. I mean, to say the least, these girls are so beautiful. They're from all around the world and it's just an honor to be in their presence, like for real. I'm so happy to be here. And what can we expect for the end of the show for the big finale? Well, I can't tell you everything. I gotta keep some things a secret. So, you know, you're gonna have to wait to see, but the opening is about to be insane. We are joined by our roving reporter, Frankie Chenna, who is somewhere out there in the audience. Frankie, are you there? Yes, I'm here, Megan. I will be chatting with the family and friends of the contestants and going backstage to bring you the insider's view of the Miss World Final. It's been very noisy out here, Megan. I think they're all your fans. Welcome back to the London XL. I'm here with the parents of Miss United States, Wally and Lynn Saferit. Your daughter has made the top 25. How do you feel, Lynn? Very excited, but she's worked really hard, so we're very proud of her. Wally, anything to add? Not a thing. She has worked hard, and we're pleased for her. Well, good luck to her in the next part of the competition. Back to the stage now with their smash hit, Somebody For You. It's The Vamps. Hi there. I'm looking for a room on the third floor. Oh, and can I have a view of the London Eye and the Big Ben? And I need my room to be at about 22 and a half degrees. After a long day, the girls get hungry, and it's the hardworking kitchen staff who are preparing all their meals. It's very stressful, cutting on kids. We're here at Her Majesty's Theatre to watch London's own Phantom of the Opera, and we're very excited to see the show. The Phantom of the Opera is here. Guys, we have a new Phantom. You gotta show everybody what you got. Oh, I was hoping we could avoid that one. <laughs> Can you come with me? I will, I will. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, hold on okay. to me, Frankie. I'm sorry. That is not allowed. It's, this is individual contestants. Come on. <laughs> I'm afraid not. You must make the walk on your own. Go, Frankie. Please welcome your hosts for this evening, Megan Young and Frankie Chenna. Last year, I represented Canada in this very competition, so I know what these guys are going through. They certainly didn't make it easy for us. In fact, I still have the scars from my competition. But let's give a big thank you to Torbay Tourism and all the people of Torquay for their kind support of this year's event. Now, social media is a huge part of today's society, with social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter leading the way. Part of being Mr. World is knowing how to interact with your fans and how to share your life experiences. There we have it, you guys. Excellent, excellent performances. It's time for the results. Now, all the guys have performed and the results are in. May I have the envelope with the winner of the talent challenge? Clearly deserving of that award, my goodness. Team events are now over. The search for Mr. World continues right after this break. We all are stars and we all are people with a purpose in our hearts. It's who we are. So there we have it. We now know all five of our Fast Track winners. They are Style Award winner, Mr. Nigeria. What a wonderful day it has been, Megan. Mr. Denmark is Mr. World 2014.